So again, this being the September regular meeting of the Northampton Housing Authority, as is typical, we start with public comment. And I do want to announce to everyone that we have a committee and it's our governance and policy committee that has been working on revising the bylaws and has presented an item that'll be on the agenda tonight. However, it is the prerogative of the chair to um, go ahead and uh, I'll let you know that there have been numerous requests to consider public comment, public comment, it's all public. So what we have done in the revised bylaws that have not yet been adopted, but are within the purview of the chair is we are, we are um, making our agenda first, typically for LTO representatives of LTOs to address the board and then to move directly into public comment, which has historically been residents, staff, and then more general members of the public. And the reason that we're making it all public comment is first of all, we are all members of the public. And second of all, some safety concerns have been raised to us where there are some residents who do not want to be identified as such, as a resident, for example. At the same time, we want to provide the same opportunity that we always have had for residents to identify as residents by name. And we would ask those residents to also indicate the property at which they live. And that helps us to take note of the concerns that are raised and then be able to address them. So I'm going to ask for the secretary's help in this matter by first uh, calling on, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is call on any representatives from our recognized LTOs. And then I'll move into public comment and I'll ask, first of all, if you have the, uh, if you have the ability to raise your hand digitally, because what I'm gonna try to do is call on people and then let them self-identify if they choose to identify as a resident. And then otherwise we know that they are a member of the public. So um, you don't need to raise hands right now, but what I'd like to do is ask the secretary, please, if she would call on any representatives from LTOs to address the board. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. I, I'm not sure, but I think that Alfred might be um, Alfred Chagnon from the Walter Salvo LTO, uh, but I can't see him. So Alfred, are you from the Walter Salvo LTO, Alfred Chagnon? Um, yes, I am. I'm sorry. I'm just heading home. I'm not at the... Uh, That's all right. Um, Mr. Chagnon, we can come back to you. I understand if yeah. you're driving, we ask you to stay safe. But all I know right. that any other, it would be Mr. Kierdoff, who's typically here from Four Sander. Is that correct? And uh, I, don't yes, I don't see him here. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, I, I can speak real quickly. Oh, uh, sure, sure. I, I'm kind of disappointed in the letter that was passed out over the weekend to all the residents saying, to, you know, join a Northampton housing LTO. Um, we're happy with our LTO. We're, we're going to stay with our LTO. It's not a feeling L LTO. Um, and that's what it was made out to be, that letter. And um, that should have been corrected. It's all, the only things that are failing are the ones that can't get going. But we will be more than happy to direct them to Mass Union, where they all they have to do is reach out to Mass Union and invite them. And Mass Union will come and help these residents form an LTO. Um, we are happy with our LTO. But the only problem is we need more cooperation with the Northampton Housing Authority. We're still waiting on a copy of the mole report. We're still waiting on a copy to hear something about the rugs being cleaned. You know, it's a slow process and it shouldn't be that way. You know, we work together if things would get done, but uh, it's not working very well as far as cooperating and giving us the things that we would ask for in a you know a reasonable amount of time not two three months later but the uh, the rugs are terrible they need to be clean they're not going to last a lifetime that they expect them to last if you don't professionally clean them um the mole report that was mentioned about uh, a few months back 
Um, there was a concern that um, a resident did a mold, but he wasn't licensed in the state of Massachusetts. So housing, uh, again, took the thing and made uh, got a mold report, but was never passed out to the residents. So I think that mold report is well long overdue, and we would like a copy of it this week, please. Um, as far as anything else right now, I'm uh, just getting back from vacation, and I um, just wanted to bring that up. But we are going to stay with the Walter Sub uh, LTO. We're not. We will be happy to help everybody else get get their LT going. But Northampton Housing Authority shouldn't be the one that's um, leading the process. It should be the people. But thank you, and that's all I have to say for now. Thank you, Mr. Chagnon. Drive safely. We do appreciate your offering the comment, and we appreciate everything that you're doing for Salvo and for the local tenant organization there. Thanks All right. For thank that. you. Yeah. Um, is there any other um, uh, LTO? I know we only have the duly recognized for Sander. I just ask if there's anybody who would speak on behalf of the LTO at for Sander at this point. <laughs> Then I'll go ahead then and um, ask folks who would like to share as members of the public and self-identify as a resident telling us your property or just as a member of the public, and I'll do this randomly, would you please just raise hands and I'll just randomly select folks. And if you don't have a way to raise your hand digitally, oh good, I do see some, then yes, please. May we please hear from uh, Joella Tarbutton. I'm eating. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't think I would go first. Can I pass and go back? Sorry, guys. Well, there's only one other person with a hand raised. So I'll go ahead and go to uh, Mr. Alex. Hi, this is Alex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex, but you are muted. And I'll ask, actually ask the secretary, would you please take watch the time? Because it's hard for me to call on folks and the time, if that'd be okay. So sure. Alex, you minutes, you're unmuted, please. Yes. How many minutes do I have? Three minutes. I'm sorry, two minutes, right? Right. Yeah. So I'm Alex. I'm from the Walter Savo House. And I'm here because I wanted to talk about some cleanup uh, that we need to do in the back of Walter Savo House and possibly uh, the other apartments on Fruit Street. So I hope we can address that. I remember the, I think uh, the meeting before last, I had talked about um, addressing yeah. some of the trash and litter that people are leaving in the parking lot, as well as in the backwoods. Uh, and no one got back to me. So I would like someone to uh, reach out. Uh, I'm at apartment 212 uh, and I'll be done. Okay, thank you very much, Alex. And um, we have taken note of that concern. And I'll move forward to the next member of the public, identified as GLN. And um, you may unmute yourself, please. Yes, hello. My name is Gwen Nabod, and I live in Ward 1A in Northampton. I'm here uh, as a former resident and as a member of the public to talk about a conversation that I had with Kara Leeper um, during the Florence Heights um, Family Day. Uh, wherein she informed me that she was going to be starting her own LTO citywide and that she had letters from Jack, I mean, from um, Ben Stone, stating that she had his blessing on this project. Um, and I'm wondering if, if those can be made available to the public, that, that EOHLC is informing executive directors that they can take their own initiative to form LTOs and handpick the tenants. Um, if she could make that public, that would be great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your comments. And I see the next person with their hand raised would be someone identified as Casey, please. Um, yeah, yeah. Casey, Casey here. here. Now, now, I don't know why I've got an echo. I'm sorry, we'll get some feedback there. Is it possible that you have two? Is it possible that you have two devices open? No. no, no, no. 
I have one. Madam Chair. Okay, I apologize to the public. I don't know how we can fix the feedback. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. I can fix it. Hold on. Okay. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. I'm sorry, Mr. Halberstadt. Y'all hear me now. JC is correcting I've... her difficulty now. And then yeah. I'll go to you, Mr. Halberstadt. I, no, I, yeah. I, 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 I just you. wanted to say a, a fix for that is to hang up and dial back in. Thank you so much for that advice. Um, Casey, do you think that you're okay now? Or would you take that advice to hang up and call back in? Why don't you test, start counting? Now we hear nothing. I do apologize to everyone for this technical difficulty. And um, we, I will circle back to you, Casey, but what I'm gonna do is then ask, please, if there's anyone else who might not be able to raise their hand digitally, but who may um, like to make a comment. We appreciate all folks attending here and would like to hear from anyone from the public. Okay, I'll go back to Casey, but I'll then go back now to uh, Joella Tarbutton, please. Hi, uh, everyone. I'm taking off my Joella Tarbutton, Commissioner Joella Tarbutton face, and now I'm being Jada the resident. Um, actually, firstly, I have to say, I never got a packet or anything until three o'clock today, so I'm at a disadvantage, so I'm gonna talk uh, about the comments I made. I wanna thank for having the opportunity. I actually uh, read a... Um, uh, a good thing about uh, the comments from someone else who actually liked the fact that we had separated tenants, residents, and staff, that they were actually going to adopt that. So I never was, I've never, in five years I've been, I've never been a part of a subcommittee or a committee, so I didn't have a say in that. But anyway, so we all adjust and we all go, uh, we'll uh, carry on. I also wanted to say, until I learned, I read a letter, I just now learned as a tenant and even what that we have our board minutes agenda on the NHA website. I read, I saw that from somebody else who was congratulating the website and I didn't know anything about it. So in some ways I feel like we're, I hope we don't sell ourselves short by the things that are going on. And particularly that, I think I never saw it in the newsletter. I never saw, heard it on a robo call that this is something that's available for folks to do. I also wish we could upload the, um, minute uh, meetings too, if we're utilizing that because more people will be frequent the NHA website. So that's also a, I don't want to kill anything with two stones, but it's also bringing out some of the things uh, about the website. I also have to say, and I'm a little disappointed that I don't have our commissioner, um, labor appointed commissioner, because I did get a letter uh, on my uh, uh Door talked about an agency wide. I don't know if that's the same thing as the city wide LTO. And it's really confusing to me. And it looked like a meeting had already happened, but this is a second meeting that's sent out to everyone. So did this happen? And who got to know about it? I know I came over to McDonald's house once to get some food from Grow Foods Northampton after coming from the DCC. That's where I get my typing and emails and all that stuff about meetings and stuff. And I saw some people having a meeting. They said, didn't you know about this? This is a tenants association or the LTO. I don't know. I was surprised. I didn't know. So I, it feels a little union busting kind of thing because the LTO is tenant led. They have mass union, all the trainings and all the stuff that goes with that. Now, I just don't get it. I don't, I don't, I don't get the letter and I'd like to all the communications if you could come with me um, to see what's going on, because I'm a little bit confused by it. And this tenant run, and I don't know why NHA is a part of it. I know I had a situation about a decade ago that involved a tenants association, and I remember distinction. That's not the administration, that's these tenants. Let's uh, separate and equal here. So I just, I would hope that that would happen. And secondly, I also think that the LTO, we got growing pains. We're working on stuff. We're working on it together. I think they're doing the best they can. With what they have, could they be better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that those are things to be taken into consideration. And also, again, I don't have my notes here, but I wondered, I see all a lot of new cars coming around here, new, 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 new trucks, new this, new that, new that. 
I just don't remember ever seeing anything about it. And I don't know really how I feel about that. I don't know when that was approved, when that happened, whatever. It's just kind of strange when you juxtapose it like the LTO president is saying, our carpets need cleaning. I this, I this, I this, I this, and brand new cars. Where I grew up in my neighborhood, very poor, we used to say, look at that dude with a new car every year and got no furniture in the house and no food in the refrigerator. That's kind of how I feel a little bit about that. And I wish we would pay attention to that and let's continue involving. On a tenant level, no, I don't really understand it. I see that the um, really great uh, picnic thing is there and that's great, fine. I think some people are skirmishing, like, oh, 192 residents and only one. I, I don't know. I'm grateful for it, but I think there's some growing pains. And I would invite any tenants or any situation that's going on that there is a mediation. It's a collaborative resourceful group that I participated in with the staff. They, they dropped out, but I continued. So I think that's an avenue for people to sort of bridge through these differences. And also, guys, I really do think we need to think about our racial issues that go on. I know I've been begging for this on the board, and I don't think we've really dealt with it effectively, because I do think we have diversity, but not equity and not inclusion. But I think we need to work on that because there's an issue on the board, and I think tenants need that. And I know 10 years ago, when I was dealing with the situation that dealt with racism, it was the Mel King who came and did trading on racism. Never did I get anything from housing. So there is the opportunities there. And um, I just want to say something here is a quote I saw that just stuck with me. It says, those who can't control and manipulate you will try to control how others view you. Why is that sticking in my head? Anyway, guys, good work. Keep up the good work. And that's all I have to say as a tenant. Now, let me put that hat back on. Thank you very much, Ms. Tarbutton, Springfield. Um, I do see um, Casey still with hand raised, and I hope you can address us now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Oh, I see. I see. We're okay. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, You're I'm, on. I thought it was very interesting that those, whatever this half formed letter Kara sent out, it was like, oh, okay, did. I, I happen to be fortunate enough to attend the Mel King Institute trainings and then further trainings on racism with growth food. I would suggest everyone try that and I think I mentioned last week there's been grumblings among tenants about racism here um I'm you know it's not against me I'm I'm a white woman I don't see it against me I do see it against others and if y'all don't see it maybe you know consider attending some of these trainings and and then you might see too much of it anyway I'm glad that was brought up and um I think, you know, if I understand Kara's wanting to, to get these LTOs going, but I think it might behoove you or them, us, to explain why you'd like to get them moving. How is it going to benefit her, you, me, all of us? And, you know, maybe a mini training. Have y'all had those trainings? I mean, I'm just wondering if y'all have had the trainings in, in the tenant unions because they're pretty important. People are fearful and shy when you hear when they hear the word union so or training you know oh I've been in school I'm not going back to school so yeah just please reconsider the the missive that was sent it was just very uh I don't think it was quite thought out I know I know you try and care but I think we can all do better with that ask our advice we're, we're glad to help that that's uh, that's about all I got to say except for um, I'm not sure how long I need to ask for my reasonable accommodation request to happen, but it's been months and I'm tired of asking. I'm not going to shame y'all. Not in front of God and everybody in this meeting. You know what needs to happen. That's all. Thanks. Thank you, Casey. I'm really glad we were able to take care of that technical difficulty. We do appreciate your coming and speaking up. I don't know if there's anyone else. I'd, oh, I do see someone called iPhone. And I'll ask then, please, would you go ahead and unmute yourself and address us? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, please. Um, you can good, identify. Yes. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is um, Justine Castillo, and I'm a resident from Florence Heights. 
First of all, I want to say how happy I am to see the progress regarding local tennis associations in the Northampton Housing Authority. There are numbers of properties that currently don't have a LTO, and we are so excited to learn the the states allow for that. Uh, the states allow for what the uh, call agency Y LTO in our research of seven sixty CMR. 6.09, we discover that the state not only allows that, but also encourage housing to aid in uh, the formation of an LTO that represents all residents in LHA, operating public housing, citywide, townwide, neighborhoodwide, or programwide. All, all okay. which might include tenants in federal subsidized housing. We are so excited about this because some uh, of us from different properties want to be able to advocate together for all issues that affect us. But and we uh, did our research having seen this administration provide assistance and support for the Grow into the LTO of Asabo, we were encouraged uh, confident that this administration, this board, this agency will support us on this effort. We are so excited to say we are moving forward and excited to bring together residents from properties now represented by a LTO. In fact, we believe they are joint effort will help us to form strong and inclusive organizations that can advocate for all residents of NHA, where we are seniors, disabled, or low-income families, whether we are living in state housing or federal housing. We have so much more in common than anything, the more than stuff we can divide us. We believe that there is a power of in numbers. We want our friends Al Salvo or any other property that we uh, recognize LTO to know that while they cannot join a different LTO that, that the one is pre presently represents them, we welcome to their presence in their input and their support in the formation of the this addition, additional LTO and the NHA. What this allow is the opportunity for any and every resident of NHA to have a voice through duly recognized LTO and opportunity to come together across the city of Northampton and Florence to learn from each other, to help each other and other and advocates for uh, improving quality of life across, the is, across this agency. Please be on the lookout for opportunities to meet up and join our efforts. Whether this is in an LTO, at your property, already or not. There's in, this is a power in numbers. There's a power in unity. And thank you very much. And I wanna add something. I'm a resident in NHA for 14 years. And I'm not white. <laughs> Um, Puerto Rican, really proud of be Puerto Rican, and it's, I've been here for long, and I see different, I met different property managers, and I see different ethnicities, I see Puerto Ricans, I see African American, I see white, and I don't, I don't, I don't have an experience of being racism by the administration, at least this one, maybe in the past but not this one. So I don't know why people keep saying, saying this, keep, it's getting old. It's really getting old. Let's just work together and get this, and get a better quality life and be focused on what, what actually matters than silly gossip. So I'm just saying. So thank you and have a good night. Uh, thank you, Ms. Castillo. We appreciate your uh, calling in. And I want to finally ask, is there anyone else from the public who'd like to speak to us tonight? 
And if you don't have the ability to raise your hand, please just speak up. We're happy to recognize you and thank you for being here. Okay, well, again, I appreciate all of the public comments that we heard tonight. And um, I want to go ahead and first of all, let people know that there are a few uh, items on the agenda that we'll be addressing. I am going to ask um, folks to who have the agenda in front of them because I need to get out of here at, it is almost six, but I do need to leave at 7.30. And there's- Board of Information. I'm sorry, uh, yes. As I mentioned to you and also the ED, I saw ED twice. I didn't get my packet. I didn't get it on Friday. I got it at three o'clock. I have not been able to go through this with a fine tuned comb. I'm not adequate even to uh, vote on any of the things. So we have two items here. I'm asking that it be tabled to allow for adequate uh, time to review it. And as a matter of fact, what I did get, I know that uh, an email from the ED said that some things got the word dragged <laughs> from the last meeting onto here into our notes. I didn't get uh, any of the ED's reports that I'd asked for. I didn't get any of the transcripts. So there's a lot of stuff that's missing. So I these things happen. And I did talk to the ED who said that there were some staffing issues. People were ill. That happens all the time. But it is in that order I'm saying, um, let us table these two things here. They're important, but able to be able to, to uh, speak on these things with knowledge of what's going on. I personally like to go through a lot of things and ask about it and then check and all that stuff too. So it's sure important. About, and I'll ask you first to make your motion and then we can have some discussion for your reasoning. Could you make the motion, please? Yes. I would have loved for you to do it, but I'd like to make a motion that due to the light of uh, packet information not getting to me on time that I didn't have to further do it, that we table this until next week. I thought I made that. I just went a little farther with that. So No, I, I'm sorry I didn't understand. And what I'd ask you if you would please apply a different motion for each item. We have three business items. One would be the three. approval of the minutes, and you can make that motion. The second would be the, un the two items under unfinished business. And the third, I'm sorry, the fourth would then be the, um, and I'll take them up one at a time. So if you would like to make the motion for item number seven, Roman numeral seven on the agenda, I think what you're asking is that we table the approval of the minutes, which is your right to go ahead and offer that motion, but we're not at that item yet. So I'm going to ask you to, I mean, we're not going to table the whole meeting just in one motion. These need to be individually made. So I'm going to move forward until we get to the first item at, that you would like us to table until the October meeting. And I think our next item of business then is to hear from the executive director on their report. But please come back, Commissioner Tarbutton, when we get to the next item, which will be the approval of the minutes. And you can make your motion then. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Uh, director Leeper, please. You're up next for the executive director's report. Madam Chair, um, Executive Director's Monthly Summary Report for September 2024, the GPR was $224,623.95, with a total rent collected of $122. I'm sorry, come in, I'm sorry, Director Leeper, we can't hear you that well. I don't know if it's because you're faced away from your microphone. Sorry. No, that's uh, okay. We collected 70%. Uh, uh, as you know, we're only partially through uh, the first two weeks of the month. Uh, $122,854,000. Uh, uh, we had no public housing recertifications. Is that better, Madam Chair? Can you hear me better now? Okay, perfect. Section 8 had 62 uh, certifications. Public ha ha housing didn't have any. Uh, and our wait list we had in federal, 96 one-bedroom, 34 two-bedroom, 23 three-bedroom, four two-bedroom, and Section 8 had 58. Number of state applicants for family is 27,273. Elderly disabled, 6,335. Move outs for public housing were zero, Section 8 were six. Move ins for public housing were two, Section 8 were three. And on notice in public housing, we have one. End of month vacant ready uh, for public housing were 19. Four unready for a total of 23. 13 of which are pre-leased. We are currently processing six CHAMP waiting lists. Uh, we completed nine uh, uh, make readies, nine of which were complete rehabs. We took in 146 work orders, uh, 
65 we started the month with from the prior month, uh, we completed 162 work orders and we had 49 incomplete from the prior month. Um, executive director follow-up from uh, last month and the month prior. Uh, when we last met, I was not at liberty uh, to disclose that a member of my executive team had accepted a promotion. Uh, Jack Rudman had take, has taken the position of an executive director of the Greenfield Housing Authority. Um, he was an integral part of our team for a very, very long time and will be greatly missed. As we remain committed to excellent customer service, we ask for your patience while we adjust to his departure. And we congratulate him on working so hard to be able to excel in his useful career. Um, <clears throat> also, um, I'm bringing up the uh, resident concerns. Uh, Salvo resident concerns were uh, for a, a couple of months, the carpet conditions. Um, I'm happy to, to announce that the carpets are slated to be steam cleaned and sanitized on Wednesday, September 25th, 2024, beginning at 8 a.m. Um, a resident brought up uh, that we had removed one tree and um, I had spoken to him um, in uh, the parking lot and um, we'll be purchasing the tree that I promised him this week. Um, I'm looking at purchasing um, a magnolia tree because the scent of the flowers is so um, so nice out there, but I don't know that a magnolia tree uh, will uh, will last in this region, but that's what I'm looking to purchase. Um, I thought that that would be nice because he had mentioned the flowers. Uh, we're currently investigating the moss that the mini split drainage is causing on the porches. Um, it's creating some like green algae type moss looking stuff. Um, we've reached out to the installation vendor to schedule the closure of the old sleeves and the first cleaning of the new units. Um, a resident brought up that there had been uh, a small fire that created some smoke and that they didn't feel safe. Uh, we had the fire department come out and check the panel and clear the panel, as well as the contractor come out and uh, do a test on the panel. Uh, since then, we've also had a building-wide sprinkler te test in which we passed. And the Northampton Fire Chief conducted an inspection in the entire building with which we had no findings. Uh, the picnic area out back um, that, uh, that I designed um, with the, uh, all the residents to be inclusive of those in wheelchairs and with mobility issues in mind um, was poured and the, and the uh, charcoal grill was installed. <clears throat> um, and I'm excited to say that tomorrow the um, picnic tables, which are also uh, accessible, will be uh, put together um, and installed. And I was happy to see um, on Friday that they had were having their uh, a little cookout out there. Um, so I stopped and spoke to them. That was very nice. Uh, speed bumps, parking stickers, and towing were brought up, and we're in the process of securing a new towing company. Uh, the two local towing companies uh, do not want to take the business on because they've been given such a hard time in this area. Uh, we've been in talks with uh, Hampshire Towing, which is the next closest local towing company. Um, and then once we are able to solidify that, we will resume setting this up. For standard resident concerns, uh, it was brought up uh, that the exhaust fans uh, were problematic. And while they are problematic and they are a capital and budgeted item, they had to be postponed due to the heating emergency that had become an issue at Cahill for heat and hot water at those for those residents. We're hoping that the Housing Bond Bill and the Affordable Homes Act allows the capital funding to push this project up and allow it to be completed more quickly. Also, a resident brought up during uh, that during a powder, power outage that the emergency lighting did not properly work. The property manager went to that building and discovered that what was thought to be an emergency light was not actually an emergency light and showed the resident where that light was actually located. Um, I'm happy to announce that we had uh, some great events this uh, go around. Uh, the, this month, we hosted back to school block parties at both Hampshire Heights and Florence Heights. We provided food, face painting, and bounce houses. We invited many community resources, which included the Northampton Health Department, Northampton Police Department, and Fire Department, 
We raffled off backpacks filled with school supplies and toys that were donated to the agency. I've attached pictures from the event and hope that our chair would maybe post them here so that we can uh, show them to the public. Um, and um, let's see. I can do I that if you'd like that at this point, Director. I'm, I'm able to bring up that, um, that, uh, that would be great if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah, hold on one um, second, please. I'm sorry, I need to actually just take sure. some time to find out where I had those. Um, hold on one sec. You can keep speaking and then I'll just go ahead and bring it up yeah. when I figure after out. The, after the Hampshire Heights block party, Grow Food hosted an end of the season corn fest. Um, uh, and residents were encouraged to bring potluck dish to share. And we're delighted to say that these events had great participation from residents, staff, and the community. And we were able to provide um, free back-to-school haircuts to all the children. And those who signed up for a haircut were excited and looking forward to back-to-school with a fresh new haircut and a new look. The health department continues to visit our senior properties, providing blood pressure checks on a weekly rotation and scheduling vaccine clinics for those upcoming time slots. There will be a flyer sent out to all households once the dates are confirmed, and this will include Hampshire and Florence Heights, and they will be administering flu shots and COVID vaccines. Lastly, since the passing of the podiatrist last year, we've actively been looking for someone who can come to the properties and provide foot care. We are very excited to announce that starting in October, we will have a foot care nurse visiting all of the sites, including our family sites on a monthly basis. At this time, they are unable to bill insurance, but it is a process that they are actively working on. The services will be $20 per resident, and the resident will receive a full, assess a full assessment, nail trimming, nail filing, and cream, or an oil massage for circulation. There'll be a flyer sent out to all the properties with information on how to schedule an appointment. So ends the executive director's report. Uh, thank you. I'm not sure if I'm muted. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So just for folks who I'm sorry, it took me a little while to get the screen sharing, but these uh, couple of these numbers of images that you're seeing here are from the block party that um, Director Leeper referenced, which it looks like is this is the one that it was at uh, Hampshire Heights. Am I correct? That's Florence Heights. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. And and so all of these pictures here are from Florence Heights. I want to thank. No, everybody. that one's Hampshire Heights. Oh my that's goodness! Hampshire well, Heights. I'll let you that go ahead and great. speak while I. You can go ahead and describe these as I. So advance that's Hampshire them. Heights. Uh, that one's Hampshire Heights face painting for the kids. Uh, that's the, the RSC at Florence Heights cooking the burgers. That's ha Florence Heights. Uh, that's Florence Heights. <laughs> Florence Heights. Hampshire Heights. Back to Hampshire Heights. That's it. Okay, thank you, Director Leeper. And then we get we are at the bottom of your little things there. I really appreciate your sending me those and letting me share those with the public. And I as I bring myself you. back up here, that ends the executive director's report. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the agenda, which is the uh, approval of the August mi minute minutes for the August meeting. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling that up. So before we um, take up Commissioner Tarbutton's request to table this, we first need to put it on the floor. So I'll ask, please, is there someone who would like to move approval of the draft um, August regular mi meeting, meeting minutes, please? So moved. Okay, moved by Commissioner Richards. Is there a second, please? Second. Moved and seconded. And so as we oh, as I'm opening this up to discussion, which is happening because I know that Commissioner Tarbun has a request. Commissioner Tarbun. No, no, I can't see. I'm just moving around. I'm just sorry. Are you, you what are you doing? You're oh I gotta stop share. Sorry. Pardon me. Uh oh. Where's Jack when you need him? Okay, so uh, what I did was um, I just explained that before we can take up your motion to table, we first have to put it on the floor and that's just happened. Commissioner Richards made the motion, seconded by Commissioner Brooks, and now we can take up your motion. Do we discuss it at all or no? Once you make it. Oh, okay. 
So I did make it, did I not? No, not when it's appropriate, which is right now. I'll explain that what would be appropriate now is for you to say, I move that we table. Okay. Et cetera. I move that we table uh, the August meeting minutes uh, to next meeting. And Thank you. Uh, is there a second? I'm sorry, Commissioner Tarbutton, we can't discuss this unless there's someone who offers a second to this motion. I'll just send it to the Attorney General. I'll just send this as a report thank you. to Attorney General. Yes, thank you. thank, thank you. you. Yes, okay. So that being said, and having put out the request for any additions, corrections, or deletions, and having heard none, I'm going to ask the Secretary to please call the roll. Yes, uh, approval of the August regular meeting minutes. Chairperson Hines. Yes. The Vice Chairperson Richard. Yes. Commissioner Brooks. Uh, yes. Commissioner Tarbutton. Absolutely not. Thank you. Madam Chair, three yeas and one in, uh, nay and two absent. Okay, that motion carries. Thank you. And then we move on next. I think it's okay for us to go ahead to the unfinished business and then move on then from there to new business. So first I'll ask, because uh, uh, first I'll give an update because this shouldn't go on the floor. This discussion item under unfinished business, which is the status of the fiscal year 2023 agreed upon procedures action plan is required by, uh, by the state to, to appear on our agenda unless uh, for six months, I believe, I can't remember the exact uh, time, but they have received are, and they have been in agreement with everything that they've said. They just require us to keep it on unless there is any update. I am here to report that there is no update on this item. And so I'm going to move on to the actual next item, which oh, is- Point of information. Uh, my question, did we also do this? Because I, I understood you to say for six months, but I thought it was, from what I understand, that you are to mention it every month. And did you mention it uh, last month? Yes. Okay, I didn't hear it. Okay, so um, the next item is a motion that I'm actually going to ask if we can table once it's just because Commissioner Cancel, who worked on this, um, uh, you know, very hard <clears throat> on the Governance and Policy com Committee isn't here. But before I ask for it to table, I have to ask, please, if there is someone who would put this on the floor so that then we can take up my request that we table this. Is there someone who would approve the motion I'm sorry, that would place, move the motion that we adopt the revised bylaws with the positive recommendation of the Gover Governance and Policy Committee. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Richards. Is there a second, please? Second. Okay, moved and seconded. And may I first ask then, would folks consider tabling this item just because the other member of the Governance and Policy Committee who worked on this item is not here to present. So I, I guess I'll make that motion, which is to table the uh, adopting the revised bylaws upon positive recommendation by the Governance and Policy Committee to the next meeting in October. So I've made that motion and I'll ask, is there a second? Second. Moved by myself and seconded Commissioner Richards. And I'll ask the secretary to please call the roll. Excuse me, we don't have any comments. Uh, 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 yeah, no, no, sir, you can, you can, oh, but you can only address the motion to table. That's the only well, thing that's- Motion to address. table, yes, I want to address that. I yes, just find please. it ironic, okay, please. I find it ironic, you have something uh, in it because there's not somebody here to get sufficient information to it. I'm telling you, I didn't get any enough stuff and that's not an issue and it goes right through it. So this is wrong on all levels that I'm saying, of course, these are things that normally happen, and I would be more than happy to say this is the case with you to table it. Well, why doesn't that extend to everyone uh, as far as uh, e equality here, what we're talking about? So for that, you should go ahead and vote it. It's probably going to go through anyway. So I just hate the uh, one side of the mouth. Let's be fair. Let's be civil. Let's be this. And on the level, other hand, there's not even there wasn't even a second. So why should we do this with something you want to do? Or something that's important to you because it is important to get full information for this and that's all i was asking so let that be noted noted okay i'd ask the secretary please to call the roll yes <clears throat> motion to table to the next meeting the to adopt the revised bylaws upon positive recommendation 
of the Governance and Policy Committee to the next meeting, which is in October. Chairperson Cohn. Yes. Vice Chairperson Richard. Yes. Commissioner Brooks. Yes. Commissioner Carbutton Springfield. No, I'm citing unfairness. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. So the next item on our agenda brings us right into new business. And that is to approve the change order for, as folks who are reading, for fish number 214121 for $93,971.79 related to the electric stove replacement at Salvo. I will note that the acronym FISH refers to um, financial information and state housing, I believe. Is that correct, Director Lieber? I believe so as well. Uh, okay. Financial information, state housing. Yes, uh, and, and we see these often, and basically it's, it's what has become then the true cost of the original item for the electric stove replacements at Salvo, which are all now there. And so now we just need to approve the financing again. This was something that <clears throat> was, um, we know that there were issues in the past, uh, but I, I won't even say a thing because first I need to ask, is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Thank you, Commissioner second. Brooks. Second. Is there a second? And moved and seconded. Thank you, Commissioner Richards. Yes, please, for discussion. Uh, yes, Chair, please. I just, I just want to be uh, transparent, but it's financial information system for housing. Oh, financial information systems for housing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, I know it's hard to keep all of the letters together, but, you know, anyone looking at that would wonder when it says fish item, you know, whether we're, you know. Casting out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or getting out on a boat. Now, I know that Commissioner Tarbutton, I think you had your hand raised. This has been moved and seconded. So for discussion, please. Uh, yeah, uh, I, it's not clear to me if this is for a new budget, because the last I heard about the stoves that didn't work, the brand new stoves that didn't work, I heard it was something with the manufacturer and people were trying to sue this, sue this. So what well, you're saying, if I can understand it, and I'd like clarity on this. I know people want to leave early, but I need clarity. So we got some new stoves. Some didn't work for whatever reason they didn't work. So there was a case where you were going through either EOLC or the manufacturer. Somebody was going to see somebody and sue their mama or something. I'm not quite sure. So now you're saying let's budget more or is it a more budget or is it a budget to fix it? Is it a budget to get rid of the old and bring in the new? I am confused. Why is all this money going to pay for these things and these stoves? And you, are we backtracking? Did you not sue the manufacturers? So I'm confused by this. It's like money, 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 money. And I don't know where it's going and coming. So I'd like a little clarity from that, please. Thank you. And before I turn to Director Leeper to answer that question, I'll ask us, does Commissioner Brooks or Commissioner Richards, do you have some additional questions so that I can let Director Leeper address these concerns or questions at once? Anything? I'm good. Uh, uh, Commissioner Brooks? No, go ahead. Oh, then please, Director Lipa, could you address these questions and concerns raised by Commissioner Tarbon? Yes, so these are the uh, 90 stoves that were phase two of the Salvo replacement project. I'm sorry, I, I think you're, you're turned away from the microphone again. Thank you. These were the 90 stoves that were originally replaced in phase two of the stove replacement project that did not work. The state, uh, this is a state project, so it's their money. Um, it was them going out, them trying to get the manufacturer to replace it, replace them. Um, it was the state's money to begin with. Um, it was the state trying to get the contract, the manufacturer to replace them. And when they would not, um, it was the state that replaced the 90 stoves. And even though this is the state's $90,000, they require a board approval because it's done on our property. So this is the replacement of the stoves that did not work, uh, that were um, uh, that were started to be installed, but then you know were, were not um, finished. And so they came in and they you know replaced the ones that they had started install, and then they finished the rest of the ninety. And then the contractor now needs to be paid for the work. Um, and this is DHCB. Um, asking you to approve us to pay the contractor with DHCB's money. 
Thank you. I just want to clarify. Uh, I know that it's hard to keep the acronyms again. So we are, we know now that DHCD is called EOH. LC, yes, I'm and that the, they have purchased these stoves, however, or intend to purchase these with the state money, not from our budget, but would require and are asking us to approve their paying the contractor. They want us to approve them paying the contractor that they selected regarding this to, to take up with that mix up that happened when we had a bunch of stoves that have now been replaced. And this is the bill due to the contractor. Commissioner Tarbutton, did you have did, did this answer your question adequately? It's an answer, but it didn't answer exactly. I, I'd like more information. You know, I wanted to know who are these contracts. I'd like to see the letters that went out. I'd like to see their response to that. I need a little bit more other than someone tell me what happened because I don't understand. This is such rookie mistakes. I don't understand how this keeps happening. Could so you remind us, Director Leeper, because this did come back, this would came up when we originally, when we originally approved this. Could you remind um, Commissioner Tarbutton who that contractor yeah. was? She doesn't have that information. No, yes. it's not so that, that I don't have it. I'd like to see it, so put it in a packet here. Oh, could, could you tell us when we had that in our board resources, please? What month? So or do you have that? Resources right now is the is the state form. Um, the okay, form. in the resources but, itself. Okay. Yeah. In the board, apparently, in the apparently, Commissioner Tarbutton has no access electronically or in any way to see those board resources. Is that what you're saying, Commissioner Tarbutton? You can't yeah, see it. I'd like to see it in a paper form. I'd like to see it. You'd like it in a paper form, but you have access now to all the information electronically that you can see. No, not not really. Since Jack left, the name was changed, so I'm still working through that right now. The I name I, the one I used to sign into. So no, I haven't been able to get that. I haven't got an executive the name, the name report. Has never I haven't got anything. The name has never been changed. The name has never been changed. That's not correct. So the change order form yes. is uh, one of the state forms. The architect is Ty and Bond Incorporated, and the contractor is Summer Electric, which were both chosen by the state. Right, and Ty the, and Bond is a local, our a local engineering firm that we're familiar out with. Of, uh, out, out of West, Westfield, Mass. Um, yes, and, yeah. and the the language that the state. Uh, has asked that um, that I say to the board is that the uh, NHA Board of Commissioners approved the change order for the FISH 214121 and that the change order is in accordance with Article 8 of the general conditions of their contract, change proposal 214121CP0001 to provide and install 90 premier 24 inch model. E C K L O H O P electric ranges, and that it be resolved that the Board of Commissioners of the Northampton Housing Authority hereby authorizes the ex executive director to take all actions necessary and proper in accordance with EOHLC's contract with respect to the change order. Thank you. Well, one more clarifying question then, please. These have been installed, as you've described, and you have not heard any um, problems with those that have been installed from residents now at Salvo with these new stoves? Oh, I've heard uh, nothing but praise and happiness and thankfulness that they're working wonderfully um, <clears throat> and, and that they've, they've been performing well. Can you tell uh, us, actually, to, that's to, not to, just a minute, please, just a minute, just a minute, I'll go back to you. Okay. Can you please tell us what is the implication if we choose not to approve this fish order as requested by the state? The contractor will not get paid. The work has already been done. He's already done. What is the implication for this agency? Uh, would, would there be a PMR? Yeah. Would there be? Would the state be? Oh, the, yeah. the state will. The state will. Um, the, the state will probably pull funding for for all of our projects. If you're not going to pay your contractor, okay, well, well, this is their yeah, money okay. anyway. Okay, so so uh, all right, was uh, maybe that was too ever much seen question. There may be many implications time? for that. I understand. I understand. Yes. So, Commissioner Tarbon has a final um, comment, please. Yeah, I know. I said that since we have the new stove, uh, and I had one that was fairly new before, so I don't know why I got a new one. But I certainly not complain about getting a new stove. But ever since that's happening, never before in the ten years that I've been here that I started having electrical. Um, outs and I had to keep doing the uh, voltage thing to turn it back on. So I never had that and I have to do that at least once a month. So I don't know what everybody else is saying here, but I never had to do that before until we got the new stove. So, and I know I said that and I know I brought that up. So it's not cellular. I'm, it's, it's good to have this. I, as I said, I appreciate that, 
but I wouldn't give it like, oh, is there also great? Everybody's having a, a, a happy now because it was so horrible for so many months. I say months where people at first couldn't even boil water. So it's, it turned out really good after a not so great situation, but even bringing that up, you heard the residents who were quite, quite upset about it. So I, I'm, I'm gonna vote no on this. And I know I even probably did before because I, I probably abstained because there were some questions with that. It's just the questions with this and I'd like all that information you have, just send it to me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so noted that there is, uh, and uh, Director Leeper will note that and investigate why Commissioner Tarbutton once a month needs to uh, flip her breaker related to the stove. It could be something related, not even related to the stove, but it could be something internal in the breaker box. We're not sure, but clearly there's an electrical problem that we're learning about and we will um, investigate. So thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton, for that input. I'll ask now then, please, for the secretary to call the roll. The motion to approve change order efficiency. You don't need to read it all again, especially since we can't hear you when you're turned away from the microphone. <laughs> Chairperson Carney. Yes. Vice Chairperson Richards. Yes. Commissioner Brooks. Yes. Commissioner Tarbutton. No, for the reasons I mentioned. Thank you. Thank you. And that motion carries. And let me look at the agenda, but I can't believe it if it's because I was prepared to have to stay here until 7:30. <laughs> What am I going to do for the next hour? Okay, so I, I'm afraid to say that the meeting may have come to the end of our agenda. Yes. And I'll ask then if there is a final motion from member from anyone on the board, a final motion. Motion to adjourn. Thank you, Commissioner Brooks. Is there a second? Second. Okay, you don't need a roll call on this and it's non-debatable. I think we can just all voice vote aye. 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 We have too much to discuss, so nay. Okay, so uh, okay, so three to one to adjourn. And so that does carry. I want to thank everybody who came tonight. I appreciate, again, your interest in the Northampton Housing Authority and the business that is the work that we're doing to try to improve the quality of life of our residents here at Northampton Housing Authority. And I will now call the meeting adjourned and closed. <laughs>